Hello, my dear friends. I'm Stanislav Shamayev, a licensed business immigration and corporate attorney in Miami, Florida. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the difference and similarities between L1 and E2 business visas. At the end of this video, you will be able to learn how to get a free evaluation of your business visa case. Let's go. The topic number one is going to be what are the major differences between L1 and E2 visa? Well, there are a lot of differences here and it is easier to understand the differences through the understanding of the criteria of those visas. However, there are some philosophical differences that I'm going to discuss at this topic. So, the major difference is that L1 visa is for those of you who control and direct the personnel in your or somebody else's company. So L1 focuses on what position you are taking in the company for the purpose of transferring you to the US, to the startup company or to the existing company in the position of executive or the manager. So someone who is controlling and directing other people. Okay, so that's what L1 visa is about, controlling and directing other people. Why? Well, because the Americans want to have the talented managers and executives here in the US, they could grow and scale the businesses here and create the jobs and uh, economic activity and things like that. On the other hand, E2 visa is focused more on how much money you want to bring to the US and the nature of your business. And of course, the proof of funds is a huge criterion in this visa, but the legal focus, the immigration focus is how much of that money you are going to invest. And you guys know that it's at least $100,000 or more. And yes, it could be less, but it all depends on which country you're from and the nature of your business, okay? And yes, it also has the criterion of marginality, which encompasses the jobs that you create and the profitability of your business. But again, at the first step for the purpose of approval this visa, the amount of money and the nature of your business is more important. Topic number two. Stanislav, why do I want to bring my business to the US? While I've been working in my profession for years and years, it's my ninth year of uh, uh, directing and controlling my own corporation. I've learned that I do not have to sell the uh, immigration to the US or non-immigrant visas and L1 and E2 are non-immigrant visas for this purpose because everybody knows that the US is the best country in the world and I know you guys may argue and say hey the happiness index in Nor Norway and Denmark are the great countries and I do agree they are great countries for the Norwegians and people who live in Denmark and who were born there but not for the immigrants Okay, not for the immigrants, guys. The United States is the only country in the world. I can't even count more than 40 countries in the world. It's the only country in the world where you, the first generation of immigrants coming to the US, will become Americans. Never ever in France, in Great Britain, in Germany, in Portugal, in Spain, no other country, Western Hemisphere, or any other country in Africa, in Asia, or anywhere else, you will never become the people who will be recognized as the citizens of those countries with all the rights and, and full love and respect to you. And you guys know it too. Here, you will be able to make America whole. No other country will give you this opportunity. Even the second generation of the immigrants in some countries don't find themselves home. So, and you know it, the economic power of this country, the financial system, the banking system, the credit system, the non-discriminatory laws, they are the top notch and it's the best place 
to do the business because the government not only interferes with your business but also supports it. I know it because I'm doing business here and I know it because a lot of my clients from more than 50 countries in the world are doing businesses here and I don't know a single person who got a talent visa, L1 visa, business investment visa who failed provided that they put the effort and their time. Of course, that's the universal. You have to put your effort and your time and of course money when you start a business. Those are the major reasons why uh, I think the state is the best country plus the consumers. This is the culture of consumerism and people wanna buy the services, the goods. And now is the best time to come in. Why? Because the economy is uh, in a little bit on a downtrend. Everybody knows that you need to buy assets when there's blood on the street. And now there's blood on the street, so it's the best time to start accumulating your resources to do the business when things will become better. Now, what do we need to file L1 visa successfully? And then we're gonna be talking about E2 visa. So for L1 visa, I want you to have the business or work in some Brazil's business with at least 15 employees under your control. And I want to have three to four managers and 10, 11, 12 subordinates to those managers. And this company is affiliated with a startup company, with a new company in the US or with the existing business in the US through the common control. So the same person or persons control both companies. It could be you, it could be your boss, it could be one company controlling the other company, doesn't really matter as long as these are the same people or person who control both companies. And also, if it's a new company, I wanna see at least five people under your control at the end of year one of you being in the US. That's when you open up a new business. And if it's an existing business, I need to see at least eight people working in that business. When we talk about eight people working here in the US, it's probably also a good time to start speaking about getting a green card through EB1C visa. E2 visa is a little bit different. You don't have to have a company outside of the States. All you need is $100,000 plus to invest in your startup business or purchase an existing business. And we need to prove that you made that money legally, you paid the taxes, and we can explain all the transactions. And also, you have to have the right passport. Not every country falls within E2 territory, so make sure you check if your citizenship fits within E2 uh, treaty category of uh, visas. And as long as we provide for a couple of jobs in the future for E2 visa and profitability of your business, you can extend that visa uh, indefinitely. And depending on your country, you can get the initial visa uh, starting for three months, which is a rare occasion for some countries like Moldova and Ukraine, and up to five years uh, for the countries like Germany, uh, Canada, uh, and other uh, countries. The years of practice We've transferred so many businesses across the world to the States on L1, on E2 visa, different type of businesses, restaurants, construction, trucking business, tax services, business consulting, auto parts, uh, cafes, selling of kitchens, doors. There's a lot. Why am I listing those, uh, uh, those businesses? Because one of the most popular questions is like, what's the best business to do in the States? And my answer is always the same. Guys, the business that you know how to do, the business you know you have the experience in. Of course, you can buy a franchise, you can uh, have a business consultant. Uh, it just depends on how much money you have, how much money you wanna allocate to these businesses. So there's a lot of uh, moving parts. Uh, to uh, understand each particular position of, uh, of you before you come to the States. And now, the last topic that I wanna cover, Stanislav, what can you and your company do for me in order to get uh, those visa approved? You guys know that I'm all about the processes, so I developed the process for each of these visas to follow through when you work with my team to gather the documents by my strategy. And definitely uh, L1 and E2 visa are a little bit uh, different as to what kind of paperwork we need and what uh, focus we need to do. Where uh, in L1 visa, we focus more on the structures and the positions of the employees in the business. And of course, 
I do help you to structure both of your businesses the way that's good for the immigration purposes. And E2 is mostly about the uh, source of funds, the amount of money you want to input, and also the marginality criterion to make sure that your business is going to bring the economic impact to the US. And definitely I help you uh, to uh, develop those ideas in your petition and make them winning petitions. If you think that you qualify for either L1 visa or E2 visa, you can get a free evaluation from me. How to get that? You go down right now under this video and find the links that say uh, L1 and E2 evaluation form. You click on that link, you fill out the questionnaire in detail. Give me as much detail as you can and within 48 hours I will get back to you with initial qualification, initial analysis of your case and I will tell you which visa is good, which criteria we cover and if you have the potential for your future petition. And if you do, I will invite you to the complex immigration planning where I will develop the written winning strategy for your case which will be used in the executive and the strategy department in my company when you start working with us. Please make sure you smash that like button because you like my content and appreciate my time and also wants to give me some love and write comments and questions under this video. I'll definitely get back to you and also subscribe to my YouTube if you have not to my Instagram to my TikTok, to my Facebook, to my Twitter, because I post different content on those platforms, which does not cross. I am Stanislav Shamayev, a lawyer of the future. Your future begins here. Good luck.